the dustbin men. B619 stroke 6, part 1. 15 seconds. See in the reference library at seven. Yeah. Pardon? <laughs> no, not over the phone, love. Oh, very well. I like you. <laughs> there. What? Well, yeah, thank you, Veronica, but you know, you really mustn't call me Chuckle Chops over the telephone. I never know I'm back to listening. Uh, oh, very well. There. Right, bye bye then. Morning. Oh, morning. Isn't everything all right, then? Yes. Chuckle chops. <laughs> Lady friends, is it? Courting in corporation hours. Ibsen, the next time you're scavenging on the tip, I suggest you find yourself a hearing aid, or perhaps even two. Look, the men of a refuse depot are like a unit of highly trained commandos. Lady friends don't exist for us. No. Oh. Do lads know you're called chuckle chops? <laughs> Depends, man. If you think it's Aristotle or bloody Nassis, no. If you think it's Malcolm Muggeridge, no. Try Spiral Agnew. Oh. Oh, that's a gnaw inspiring sight at seven o'clock in the morning. Did that bikini fit when you first bought it? You're not supposed to be looking. Oh, that's all right. We like doctors. Only in my entire medical career, I've never seen I Love Lonnie Donegan tattooed on anyone's chest before. Every breathing on him for his kippers. He has a pair every Monday for breakfast. Is that all he gets? A pair of kippers? On the table, yes. Under it, mind your own rotten business. <laughs> to think, her husband met her in Sunday morning football. <laughs> For the tenth time, all right! I'm busting your blouse up. Shoulders like Brian Pig in the ball. <laughs> right, woman here says, would we tell him he breathe? Then she's ready to... We'll tell him. We'll bloody tell him. Yes, madam, I will. You may rest content in the knowledge. Cheese and egg. Eric me flower. The lady in there says, will we kindly tell her they breathe in the test? Eric me flower. Cheese and egg. If you say another word, I'll hold you upside down in that dustbin and swivel your head in the tea leaves. Oh. You may rest content in the knowledge. Thank you. <laughs> Heavy rotten breathing. Where are you? Alive and well and living in mortal bloody terror. <laughs> what are you doing hiding? Mainly hiding. What from? Guess. Heavy breathing. I can't stand it any longer. I can't. I can't. I bloody can't. Six breakfasts I've had this morning. <laughs> Seven, including the one my wife threw at me. What do you eat them for? <laughs> I need the energy, don't That's I? That's 12 blocks of flats lying in ambush up that road. That's 400 breakfasts waiting to be eaten. I was even a sex symbol at school. In the infants. <laughs> a couple of liquid all sorts and a conquer they'd think you were anybody's. I'd be safer when I got into long pants. But no. Gosh, you're never in them for long, are you? I sympathise me. It must be a terrible problem. It is, it is. It isn't. Eh? Not any longer. Eh? Winston, what would happen if Colin Bell stood at the halfway line, checked up the birds while the rest of the team were playing the kneecaps off? Colin wouldn't. He's one of nature's big gentlemen. 
A Leeds United player might. They're capable of anything, especially Brendan. What will happen to him? He'll be given a free transfer. Come play! Just to recap on that statement, as stated, you want a transfer? Correct. Onto another round? Correct. Away from number three, gang? Correct. Why? Cheese and egg has had enough. Of what? Me having too much. Of what? <laughs> Come to think of it, I've had enough of me having too much. Of what? <laughs> you dirty pig. <laughs> It's been a long time together, man and boy. Yeah. Friend and colleague. Yeah. Well, goodbye, good luck, and from the bottom of my heart, good bloody riddance. Thanks, get nutty. So long, mate. The longer the better. Ha 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 ha. Thanks, get stuffed. Hello. <laughs> Be good, Eric. I've got a goodbye present for you. You'll see him in the canteen every day. The round he's going on will still be in England. Thanks, Eric. Found it in the rubbish, did you? In my mum's jewellery box. It's a copy of last year's TV Times Christmas special. No. I tell a lie, the year before, including a full-colour picture of Ivor Emmanuel. You sure she won't mind? And she got another seven. <laughs> See ya! Should old acquaintance be forgotten and never call to mind? Should... <laughs> It'd be funny with no heavy breathing. Seen a strange face in his place? Not strange. Frightening. Frightening? Ah! Hello. <laughs> I'm Smelly. I know. But who are you? I'm your new bin man. I come from the keepers. Get it? Yes, and that's a bloody sight more than you will. Oh, <laughs> heck. Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, madam. Subsection 4, clause 11 of the 1958 Health Act. We're not allowed to dispose of husbands at the municipal rubbish dump. Every housewife will be doing it. We have the facilities. You'll just have to go through the normal divorce channels. It's all right. I'm just squashing the rubbish down to make more room. That's what they all say, madam. Honest. It's all right, madam. Just my little joke. Uh, I like a laugh. Yes. Well, it's better than crying, isn't it? Very true. Best tonic in the world. So they say. So we'll, uh, we'll just leave it at that, eh? What? A friendly smile, good morning, nice day, finish. No monkey business, no wandering hands, and we'll get along fine. Understood? No. I'm called every breather in the trade. You've no doubt heard the odd fable about me. No. Well, a tip to make it easier for you, uh, don't gaze into my eyes, that's fatal. And if you should happen to notice me muscles rippling under my shirt, well, just look the other way and think of your children. Now, granted, you'll probably be driven crazy with desire just listening to my husky voice or watching my sensuous walk, but I've got me bins to empty. Good morning. Hang on. It won't work, madam. You won't be the first one whose clothes have suddenly accidentally fallen off in the kitchen. The extra rubbish I was making room for. Thank you. Good morning. W weren't you listening to me? Yes. Well? You do like your little joke, don't you? You're dafter than Pinky and Perky, but not as sexy. You're trying to hide your disappointment, aren't you? Aren't you? I'll keep my cap on and my boots on just to save time. Doing what? Think it. Pardon? Are you one of every breathing's uh, young girl? Oh, no, love, no. Um, you want numbers 15, 11, 7, 6, 3 and 1. What are you? Number 12. Oh, sorry. But don't you ever, uh, you know, uh, watch it? Not if I can help it. 
I thought you were coming shopping with your mother. Hi, Jean. That's right, Tom. I thought you never, uh... Oh, well, we always have happy event. Nine months after United win championship at Cup. I see. Yes, you see, my hub is a big United supporter and, well, he has his own way of celebrating. Oh? Ooh, they've had a hell of a good run these last few years. I was glad when Matt Busby retired. <laughs> yes? It's me. It's you. With no shirt on. With no shirt on. Will it be in such torrid hot weather? Oh, that's his frost. Ah. I've, uh, I brought your bin back and emptied it and brought it back again. Thank you. I know the visual sight of my torso is understandably driving you frantic, but with it uh, being such uh, torrid hot weather... Honestly. Oh, don't you start disrobing. I'll just settle for good morning, nice day, and no monkey business. Actually, I was getting a bucket of cold water to throw over you. <laughs> Is it because I've only got eight ears on my bosom? <laughs> Not women don't like men with airy bosoms. Just eight. It's as bad as it was before. We've not progressed. It's pigging worse. Whatever time every pig in breathing spent doing it, smelly spent double trying to. Correct. And if he's not working twice as hard as every breathing wasn't, how hard are we? A lot. Twice, you great plunk. Twice, yes, correct. It's become just a job, hasn't it? What has? The pigging job. Oh. Oh, yes. No satisfaction. Only twice as hard and ten times as smelly. <laughs> There's only one course of industrial action left, right? Pardon? Right? I thought you said left, right. Correct. Come on. <laughs> Enjoying your work? Oh, yeah. Great. How's the new round? Oh, well, you know. One trap mines. How's the old round? Bloody divinity. A unit working together. A happy ship. All men with a common purpose, a common loyalty, a brotherhood such that if number three gang were to last for a thousand years, still would men say, by our Nelly, what a bloody forward line. <laughs> we can't stand smelly. We want a big in transfer. <laughs> One figure of mine at every breathing's risen in. It's my SD. 47 hours as he's been in, I'll come straight out again. Without yielding to temptation. Glory, glory, hallelujah, Colin Belford King. He's even working harder than we are. The only thing is, he don't look very happy. I think he looks bloody fantastic. Invited to address the Conservative Pigging Party Pigging Conference again. Have you got after shave lotion on? You dirty pig. <laughs> morning. Good morning. Morning. Shall I do that house? No! <laughs> it's only an inquiry. I'm gonna ask for my TV Times Christmas special back. <laughs> Is that latest? Aren't you the rag and bone chap? Oh, more of a Prince Charming as far as you're concerned, only, aren't I? Hey, hey, aren't I? <laughs> Would you repeat that question? I'm here in part exchange for every breathing, so if you'd like to step inside... You can't come in! My friend who 
was in the next bedroom when we was having us operations, is Mrs. Tin. She's big. She'll eat you. Here you are, Mildred. Here's a nice cup of tea. Lawrence! Rosie Ding Dong. It is. It's my Lawrence. Come back. Only with no teeth. Do you know him? It's only my rotten, legally married, rancid husband. Back after 17 years absent without bloody name. I'm not a lorry. I'm a smelly. He's on the dustbins. I'm not. I'm not. An, I'm an article chartered accountant and a commissioner for bloody oath. <laughs> You've got that wrong fella, Polly. Ah! 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 You don't know me, you never heard of me, you don't know where I am. <laughs> she smiled at me. And she wrinkled her nose girlishly. And her eyes twinkled and her teeth flashed. She sounds like a pig in fruit machine. <laughs> and her little pink tongue shyly moistened her ripe ruby lips. And she whispered huskily, Come here. And I did. And she stuck her dustbin on me head. <laughs> did you laugh? <laughs> Them cats don't keep their shape, do they? Enough for the price. I believe many people have gone funny. Under the material emphasis of contemporary society and its undermining of established values. My mum says she noticed it in the butchers. <laughs> it's only ever happened once before. A bird not fancying me. Once. Six years ago in Dr. Slushberg's waiting room. <laughs> me and eleven women. And one of them didn't make a pass at me. Still she hadn't been a day in five minutes. I thought you didn't like women taking advantage of you. What's that got to do with it? Bloody everything! No, no, no. Miss D possess. Do you fancy her? Don't be so bloody. Disgusting. Oh, that's too big and deep for me. How would you feel if Colin Bell suddenly started kicking into his own goal, shouting, I hope we get relegated. We are pathetic. Excuse me, Mr. Breathing. Could you spare a moment, please? <laughs> It's been a funny year altogether. <laughs> Mercury was in retrogression, you know, in the lunar phase. And Taurus and Aquarius, <laughs> they finished up in a right muck-up. If you tell me your mum noticed that in the butchers, I'll tread on your head. <laughs> oh. Now, the situation as I see it at this particular moment, or possibly juncture in time, is that you have made the following request. In answer to any outside inquiries, I'm to say, you do not work here, and that for personal reasons you wish to remain incognito. Why? Who are you? Anastasia? I wish to plead the Fourth Amendment. It's pathetic. On the grounds that any answer might incriminate me bloody self. <laughs> if MI5 pop round here to hang me upside down by the cuticles, if you think I'm going to maintain a bow silence, you've got to... Cuticle job. Request granted. <laughs> You're another one, aren't you? You're all crumpet bloody crackers, the lot of you. <laughs> well, I'm going back to the lads. At least I can roll bromide in their fags. And I wish for a transfer. Now! Does anybody ever stop to think what I wish? Only at Christmas. <laughs> well, I wish it all pick and well clear off and take off ladies' picking hairdressing. And well, that's blinking well swearing. <laughs> Nice horticultural garden. Yes. I'm quite a gardening enthusiast myself. Yes. 
What sort of roses are they? Tulips. Ah. Oh. <laughs> breathing I want you to do me a favor naturally sweetheart I appreciate that but what did I tell you that first morning huh? no monkey business no monkey business no wandering hands no wandering hands and and we'll get along fine and bloody dandy right well Back to me bins. But I still haven't told you the favour I wanted. There's no need to, sweetheart. I understand. You don't? I. It isn't you. It isn't me. It's Eric. It's Eric. The one like a Pekingese puppy with the sexy ears. Would you tell him that if ever he'd like to pop in for a nice cup of tea, no monkey business, but just a nice cup of tea, he's only too... Uh, Eric! If you could just put in a good word for him. Eric, Eric the daft. You can't be jealous. Only two minutes ago you said you've got bins to... Jealous? Of Eric? Of him? Jealous? What's he done? Stand up, you'll knock me down again. What you got? If she's so fond of horticulture, let's see if she likes sexy cauliflower ears. <laughs> Mrs. Green, bloody gables. A woman. A woman. Another bloody woman. Right. That's it. Arrivederci, Roma. Farewell, Manchester. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. I've had enough. I'm putting him for a transfer. Oh, Why, too? Why, there are no women. And therefore, just men. And therefore, pigs. And therefore, bloody happiness! Amen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a man without a woman is like a fish without a tail. Like a boat without a rudder, like a ship without a sail. Hey, you got me on back, Jenny.